Welcome to my series within my new to wig series. Hi everybody, Jill here. Welcome to my channel. This is I Wish I Would Have Known and these are just one tip videos and the reason why I decided to do this is because I think they'll be easy to find within my little playlist here. I have touched on all of these before right here in my Noodle Wig series but again I just thought they would be worth touching on individually. All right so I wish I would have known if, if I could go back in time and tell my new wig journey itself one of those things would definitely be I wish I would have known I didn't have to wash my wigs so often. My first wig, as you know, probably by now, was Elizabeth by John Renault. This was a 100% hand-tied wig to this day. I absolutely adore that wig. It is gorgeous. Man, oh man, did I back up into such the perfect sort of situation for a brand new wig wearer. To have that as my first wig was a happy accident because I knew nothing about wigs. I did not know a thing. One of those things was, is I just thought you should probably wash your wig pretty often. Meaning, you know, I wore it for probably four days, five days, thought, well, once a week I probably could wash it. One of the reasons why I thought that was because the texture was changing a little bit. It just didn't have the movement. Again, I knew nothing, you guys. And I documented my entire experience right here on YouTube. Anyway, so I thought, you know, maybe it needs to be washed. So I did. I watched, uh, well, one of my, and to this day, major resources being brand new was Patty from Wigs by Patty's Pearls. And so I watched her wash her wigs as she was showing us how to do it. And I did it exactly like that. And I used a wig shampoo and a wig conditioner did exactly what I was supposed to. And I have to say, it was not good. It wasn't the technique that I was learning. I don't know why, but the shampoo and the can, it just made, it was terrible. But I managed to sort of get it back to a, a good state, even though it was never the same by soaking it in some downy fabric softener. Um, and that sort of recoded those fibers that as we know that's not hair those are synthetic fibers and I actually revived a couple of my wigs that I used actual wig shampoo on doing that and I shared a video too on how I wash my wigs with wool light and downy fabric softener this would be a proper video I think to talk about that so you guys there is mixed feelings about doing that and again this is your journey and you're going to have to figure out what works for you i have watched videos where people are so frustrated and they said that the fabric softener and all of that just weighed their fibers down it even stretched out their caps it it made them gunky and all of that i don't know I'm sure it did, first of all, but I don't know what the parameters were used. I don't know why that happened to them. All I can say is that I've never had any problems using wool light and fabric softener on my wigs to wash them and, and sort of revive them. I've never had that happen. I've never had them get gunky. I've never had them, I never had the cap stretch out. So there might be a lot of different variables in there that cause that to happen that I just do not know. Um, you know, I would imagine it would make a difference on how much fabric softener you put in your basin. You know, how big is, how much water are you soaking it in? Maybe you're putting too much downy. I don't know. I really, I, I'm not sure. But anyway, in my ever wanting to learn as much as I can, I decided to wash a wig that was happened to be, to be a Tony Bratton wig, my trendsetter wig, because I kind of used a little too much dry shampoo in that. You know, styling aids that are made for uh, synthetic fibers, for the most part, they sort of come out as you play with them, as you brush them. They don't really stick around that much, but dry shampoo is going to stay in there until you wash it out. So I wanted to wash it and I thought, you know, I was sent a long time ago shampoo and conditioner from the brand Belle Madame. 
clarify, it wasn't from Belle Madame. It was actually, I believe, Continental Wigs. I was doing reviews, a couple reviews for them, and so that was sent to me. And I had used the shampoo just a little bit. I'd get a little bit in on my fingers, and when I would just want to wash off the lacing around my wigs really carefully, I would use that, rinse it off really good, you know, and just sort of let it dry naturally. So I thought, you know, I've had this for a long time. I want to see how this system is going to work. <laughs> so I did. I followed the directions on the back of the shampoo. I followed directions on the back of the conditioner. Beautiful. It turned out beautiful. Thank goodness. The only thing is, is that Belle Madame shampoo and conditioner, that, that is a European brand, and that can be kind of hard to find here in the United States. It's such a bummer. For you that, you know, you're over there in the UK and such, you'll be able to get your hands on it. So I, did, I was really pleased. It turned out so great. Nothing like my first experience using a different brand at all. Uh, so, it, you know, it was, it was a little bit sort of like, oh, I hope this is going to be okay. But that is the only wig so far that I've tried that on. I haven't tried washing any of my other wigs in that. But that was great. So wonderful, you know. They're not real big bottles, but I have several more washings I can do with that. After that's gone, I don't know. I'm going to be so afraid <laughs> to experiment uh, again trying to find something that I like. But when I do, um, I will try to obviously use one that I can get a hold of myself here in the United States easier. And I'll definitely let you know. But washing your wigs in general is something that you don't want to do very often. Just because, you know, it, it does sort of strip a little bit of that silicone coating that's on there and that's why you want to condition it in the Belle Madame conditioner. And I'll, I'll put it down in the description box, but I've looked for it myself and I can't seem to find where I can purchase it here in the United States. I've found places you can purchase and they will ship it to me, but it's expensive. So the shipping is just doesn't make sense to do it. Uh, but anyway, I will put the name of it and all of that down in the description box. But the conditioner is you put about a tablespoon in. Um, I can't remember if it was one liter or two liters or whatever of water. I just filled up my sink in my kitchen. And you, you sort of swish your wig around in the conditioning thing. And you let it sit there for just, I, I think it was five minutes or something. And you don't rinse that out. You rinse your shampoo out really well but not the conditioning. Anyway, it was really, really nice and it did sort of re, I think, coat the fibers again, but washing, you know, your wig definitely does sort of take a little bit of life out of it. And so I put it off, you guys, because I've had, again, two bad experiences. I put it off as long as I can, you know, and I have enough wigs now where I rotate them pretty often and uh, I, I don't need to wash them very often. So, um, I, you know, I'll even go so far as if it's starting to smell like I might need to wash it, then I will freshen up the inside of the cap with dry shampoo and get a refreshing sort of, you know, refresh. And I'll do that. I really do put it off as long as I can. Is it necessary? I don't know. I am just, I had awful experiences. So it is just me, I think, being a little overcautious. Um, and I have heard that you should wash your wigs maybe every, I don't know, what have I heard? Um, maybe 10 to 12 wearings, you should probably wash it and it will actually make them last longer. So, you know, I've heard it all over the place. Um, so I just sort of err on the major side of caution there and I don't, I put them off as long as I can. Yeah. That was not my experience. It did not revive my wig and it did not make it look nice and fresh again again it made it look it was terrible it, it was it turned to straw it just was terrible so I think that you if you're a brand new to this or you haven't quite jumped in yet you may be a confused as to how often you should wash your wigs and my biggest tip would be you know play it by ear you know is is it uh starting to smell a little like funky, like maybe you've sweated you know, in the summertime, you will probably have to wash them more often. You know, that is my major key is if it really is smelling a little not fresh anymore, I don't want to go out 
smelling like that with my hair smelling like it needs washing. And you know, if you're like me, I love styling my wigs. I am not afraid to use styling products in my wigs. Um, and if over time you do find that it just needs to kind of just start from scratch again, you'll eventually know that it's like, mm, you know, I just think I need to completely start over. <laughs> you know, every time I, you know, I put a wig on for the most part, I'm gonna grab some, some hairspray or something just to kind of get things going where they, I want them to that time. Cause I, I change up the styles of my wigs all the time. Uh, when it comes to each individual wig, I might wear that one, that wig a certain way. And then another day I'll wear it a different way. And I, I it's one of the things I love about wearing wigs. Me personally is I do love kind of styling my wigs. So I probably should be washing my wigs a little more often than maybe the average Joe out there, just because I do use product on my wigs and, um, it's just part of the fun for me. So uh, pay attention to more of that than feeling like, uh, you know, associating it with your regular hair. You know, we're used to washing our hair maybe every day, every other day, whatever your, you know, routine is. Well, you definitely do not have to do that with your wigs. Uh, you can you can go quite a long time without washing your wigs. Um, again, though, if you're wearing the same one every day, which goes back to my prior little I wish I would have video that I recorded just recently is uh, you should definitely try to have is you you really shouldn't have just one wig I know that's a bummer to hear but you should be rotating at least in the beginning two or three wigs uh, to, to keep them around a lot longer all right so that's it for this one I'm gonna go ahead and sign off keep a lookout for more of these because I got a lot more of them up my sleeve all right, stay healthy, stay well, and stay young at heart. I'll see you soon.